when it comes to fins, it's really tricky. I'm not gonna ask you to get a fanciest carbon fin and go down there, definitely. <laughs> I think that would be, you know, if you have good carbon fins, take them. If you don't, don't buy a carbon fin and take it down there, simple as that. I, I do like being efficient down there. We do a lot of swimming sometimes, especially having a group of four or five guys on each boat. So I, my experience uh, down there has been that Pedro will give you eight hours a day. Like, so his captains will give you eight hours in the water a day. If the fish are on, they're gonna give you a little bit extra. The tidal changes down there can be pretty significant. So I've had times where you were hunting a spot and you, no matter how you were kicking into the current, you were not moving. So the only way to move different spots would be on the boat. If you wanted to spend the money on carbons, that's gonna really save you a lot of energy kicking into that current, um, but it's certainly not 100% necessary. Um, you could get away with, you know, a fiberglass fin would be fine. Even plastics would be fine down there considering, depending upon how, the depth that you're wanna, gonna, gonna wanna be diving. If you're gonna wanna be chasing ca cabria and uh, barred pargo, even yellowtail in that five to, say 25 30 foot range you're going to be doing a lot of kicking around rocks big boulders so just keep that in mind when you're making a decision on the fins that you want you know just bearing in mind that they're probably going to be beaten up against some rocks if that's the type of diving you want to do i have similar to this fin, and then I also have the mantra. And an eight hour day kicking these fins beat the piss out of you. But you'll love them when you get that big go the big grouper on. You'll love fighting a fish with these, but they do just kick the hell out of you um, if you have a lot of hours to put in on the water. So anybody that doesn't have a good fin, like a fiberglass or a carbon, definitely take your plastic fins. Uh, what I ask people is make sure you have a backup or you have a, you know, a guy that has a backup your size. Sometimes Mexico is brutal. People will lose things. People will break things. People thinking that the plastic fin doesn't break, they're mistaken. I've seen way too many plastic fins break while diving down there. People that have their carpons, take your carpons. It is a lot of diving, a lot of swimming quite often, and uh, you want to be relaxed, especially if you are fishing for two, three days. It takes a toll on you, so you have a good, efficient fin will make a big difference. What I'm using, <laughs> personally, I use these guys. I use the mandras mainly because it's a bigger angle uh, fin and it's uh, phenomenal on surface and uh, when I'm in Mexico I do like a lot of surface swimming that's the reason I chose that fin actually uh, any other fin really any carbon fin will do really well fiberglass as you said dive arc which is predominantly the, the brand that is out there um, some black text and some Picassos all three companies use the S glass which is a more efficient fiberglass they are heavier fins so they will take a huge toll on you a lot of muscle fatigue especially swimming uh, long days uh, but, but but as you said, <laughs> uh, fighting a fish with those fins, it's phenomenal really because you can't push a lot of water and, and bring the fish up. And that's what you're missing if you have a plastic fin. Plastic fin cannot really bring a fish up. Food pockets, there is a lot of kinds. Uh, we have the Spear Pro Genesis pocket, which is a generic pocket that a lot of companies and they have under their name. Set my S wing, probably the most efficiently designed pocket. It actually floats in the water. Some people get it like oh this is heavy i'm like yeah it floats in the water so does it matter and then uh, pathos which is my favorite and that's the only one that fits me really and uh, what well, people it doesn't matter what pocket you buy if it doesn't fit you it's like a shoe how do you fit one like if they want to come in and try one on what's the best way for them to find okay out? first they have to put a thick sock number of mistake people make and i've seen many times they come in and they put the pocket on without a sock i mean we are not going to wear it without a sock and you have to wear it with the worst case scenario you have. So you're not gonna always wear a two millimeter sock. You're gonna wear occasionally a three and a four. So grab a four millimeter sock and make sure the, the feet is snug. The way you see it, you put the pocket on and then you stretch out your foot, which is your position that you are in the water. You don't stand on the I've seen people, they stand on it. You never stand on your feet. Ever. <laughs> so you, you stretch out and you make sure there's a good fit and a, a nice uh, pressure, but not uh, restricting pressure. Is there a way to just slightly off that you can modify the fit of those? Both uh, S wing and bathos are uh, fully multiple. And when we say multiple, we don't mean they shrink, they expand. So I did have people that got the size bigger and they were trying to mold it to go down. I'm like, no, it doesn't go down. It only goes up. So that's why I tell people, get the pocket to be a bit snug because even if you don't mold it, it will on its own as you use it. 
how if they wanted to mold it before the trip, how could they go about doing it? Uh, it's very simple. You boil water, and that's the easiest way. There is another way, obviously. You boil water, put the pocket in, let it get soft, and you'll feel it. Take it out, put your foot in with double sock because you will lose some of the stretch. So put a double sock on one foot, put it in, cool it. That takes the shape of your foot, and then do it on the other one. Keep in mind, you need to mark the right for the right and the left for the left. Now you've molded it to the left and the right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another way, fast way, is using a blow dryer. You use your blow dryer carefully because if you leave it on one spot, it will melt that specific spot. You just move it around until all the rubber gets really soft, and then you do the same thing. I prefer to use the water because it's more controlled. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Definitely hit that like and subscribe button if you did, and let me know in the comments what fin you like the most. Is it plastic? Is it fiberglass? Is it carbon fiber? What, why do you like them? Why do you don't like them? Let me know. I'd love to learn from you. And the next video, we're going to cover all things spearfishing masks and snorkels. Stay safe in the water. See you on the next one.